let's continue playing this horseshoe, and then after this, we're gonna play some games. I mean, we're gonna we're gonna do the next mission for Bonnie. Okay. Ooh, so close. Nice throw, yes, sir. Too hard. That's how you throw a horseshoe. I'm almost there to win. Don't want to quit. I just want to win. Let's do this. <clears throat> okay. Okay, let's finish this. Wait, let me aim. Too way too hard. That wasn't even in. the closer we get both horseshoes really close that's two point oh he got a hmm if I don't get if I don't get one on there I'm gonna lose this round and ah uh, too far well done he wins uh four oh that's that's called a ringer okay so he's in the lead right now, that lucky asshole. Okay, let's try this again. Come on, I got this one. Okay. That's oh, good. so close to a ringer. One last run, I should win. Hopefully, now I can never play. And then I will never play horseshoes ever again. <clears throat> so close. That's better. And I win. I ain't got time for this know how. Yeah. I won two dollars. That was so not worth it. But whatever. You know what, the horse you take forever. Now I don't even need you anymore. Okay, what's the next mission for Bonnie? Well, hello, Mr. Marston. How are you? Fine, thank you. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Did you meet my father? John Marston, this is my father, Drew McFarland. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Marston. Please. So, my daughter informs me that you're here on some secret mission to remove some undesirables from the county. Yep. Something like that. I'm grateful for the hospitality, sir. Well, you know, we've lived here for 30 years now. Came here from the east. The land had never been settled. For 10 years, we fought the Indians, tough men. Then we had outlaws, and we had drought, and we had smallpox, terrible winters, cholera. I very more of my children than I raised. Sorry to hear that, sir. I've seen strong men wither and die under that unforgiving sun. That whole herd of cattle take sick and die. But I've never once doubted my life here. No, sir. When I hear about this so-called federal government sending out agents to covertly murder and control people, then I start to worry. I mean, yeah, all right, Williamson is a menace. And men like him are the plague. But isn't a government agent a worse menace? And all that symbolizes to me. You may be right, sir. So he's basically saying, get the hell out of here. Well, you're a brave man. Me. You're always going to be welcome here. Oh, okay. But you tell your friends out east that we don't want to live like that out here. And sneaking around and spying and secret missions. They're not his friends, though. That's Preposterous. Trust me.
Trust me, sir. I agree with you. Good. Well, we won't insult you any further. Come on, Bonnie, we got things to do. Mr. Marston, do you want to join us? It's Daddy's favorite pastime. Apart from political discourse, that is. Well, <laughs> breaking in horses. Come on. I hear you're a pretty decent rider. For a city dweller, that is. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't look like a silly dweller, so I don't want to keep calling him that. You're gonna need this, Mr. Marston. Bonnie, I got a rope. And I can be like a real cowboy. Yeehaw! Let's see if we can put that new lasso of yours to good use. That ranch hand said there's a pack of wild horses nearby. So which one is mine? Oh, this one. Come on, boy. Come on. So we're going that way, okay. You sure have some interesting theories on what the government's doing, sir. Ain't theories, Mr. Marston. I saw the telegram Marshall got from Blackwater. It ain't exactly a state secret who sent you. <laughs> well, is he wrong? I saw those men from the train. The government can go to hell if you ask me. Those sons of bitches would steal a coin off a dead man's eyes. Oh, my Mr. God. Mr. Marston! He's right. <laughs> now, I don't know much about politics. Please, Paul, can we just enjoy the I know we're ride? only as free as they say we are. Power's like a drink. The more you have, the more you want. And there's few men who can handle it. There's certain things in this country a woman could do much better if you ask me. You said it perfectly. I ain't gonna argue so with true. that, Miss McFarland. <clears throat> what that guy, what Mr. McFarland just said, it's so true. Anyone who gets power wants more. And we're not we're not as free as we think we are. We're as free as we told as much as we told we are. They said to balance yourself up and take the door. You're gonna play arms wildly when you're about to be thrown. Wait, how the hell do I balance? Come on, in there. Okay, too, too far to the left. Too far to the left. Oh crap! This is crazy. Keep at it, Mr. Marston. Calm down now. You'll have this in no time. Come on, Tommy. Calm down. Ooh, I got him. Look at that. We'll make a cowboy out of you yet. Let's go! Take it up this horse and mount my horse. Now now, Mark. You leave this one to me. Woo! I think this is effectively for an old-timer like me. I'll take this one back to the ranch. See you later. You ain't gonna leave my daughter out there alone, are you? No, 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 sir. Come on! That's another yeah. one? It's pretty fun. I know, I know, I know. Come on, let's go. One of them. You do one of them. Damn. What now. are you waiting for? The break it down. Now leave me alone. Slow it down. Oh, we had it there. He's a frisky one. See what you can do. Get out of my way, and we'll see what I can do. Me and my family, I mean. We don't have a lot anymore. You have enough. 
It's one that gets so many folks in trouble. It'll sap your spirit and make you poor, but it's straight and it's decent. There's no better night's sleep than after an honest day's work. It's no wonder you look so tired then. <laughs> Some tech must be shy of Joker, Miss McFarland. 